come in. <coughs> you don't sound very well. I'm not. I'm, I think I'm dying. Then I hope you find peace. I don't know too much about peace. Apparently not. Thanks to that raid you carried out with my angry son, he is now in jail, apparently awaiting death. Um, I'm sorry. I suppose I lack the grandeur of a conventional king. I don't know too many kings. <laughs> Colonel Favors, he has already exacted some measure of revenge for the raid. Two women were assaulted by his men. Um, I'm very sorry about all of this. Yes. Sometimes the correct path, the bravest path, is the least obvious and also the gentlest. I'm... I'm a great disappointment to my son. Your son seems to want a war. My son thinks there is glory in death. Maybe he's right. But for me, I saw death being handed out so freely by the most foolish of men, I never could equate it with victory. Glory has come in service. Maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. I've killed a lot of people. For a whole lot of dumb reasons, and I ain't never seen much glory in it. Well, your friend Mr. Vanderlyn, he talks a lot. I don't know him, but my son is easily lit. I'm not sure I get you. Uh, well, perhaps we could go for a ride. I'm an old man. My whole life I have tried to bring peace. But uh, I ain't doing so good. Then maybe you can take pity on my plight. Please, it won't take long. <coughs> and maybe I can help you with that cough. Sir! I'm glad I caught you, sir. Captain Monroe, do you know my friend, Mr. Morgan? No, sir. I don't have the pleasure. Arthur Morgan. It's an honor, sir. How can I help you, Captain? I was just in San Denis. I spoke with the mayor. It's not good news, I'm afraid. May I ride with you for a little? Of course. Follow me. So where are we going? I want to show you a site up in the mountains that's long been sacred to me. A place for reflection and healing. Easy! Yeah. Easy. What is this news, Captain Munro? Yes, sir. As I mentioned, I did speak again with the mayor and the Bureau of Indian Affairs in San Denis at length. But regrettably, it appears the oil company has already received approval to move forward with drilling on the reservation's land. I suppose there's much. So what does that mean for us now? I'm not sure just yet. I didn't get the impression anything would be happening for a few months. I'm very sorry, sir. I did everything I could. I know, Captain. And I assure you I will continue to do as much as I can. Mr. Morgan, would you have time to help me at all? I would rather certain actions were taken by friends outside the tribe. Even sure, I can help. That's good news. Thank you. Come meet me on the reservation whenever you can. Anyway, gentlemen, I won't take up any more of your time. I'll see you both soon. Sure. Thank you, Captain. Enjoy the ride. See? What's left of that bridge over there? I heard about it being destroyed. Do you know if that was also my son's doing? No, I'm pretty sure he had nothing to do with that one. Well, I fear they will find a way to blame it on us anyway. We'll continue on this way. I'm going to look for some herbs to give you. See the wolves over there feasting on that horse? Brutality and beauty are both all around us. Yet so often we're unable to see past our own grievances. This is what I try to teach my son. Good. 
there was no need to harm them. Yeah! We can talk if you want, Mr. Morgan. But don't feel like you have to. It's a beautiful ride ahead if you need some time to think. How much you know about Dutch? A little. Mostly what Charles told me. Are you okay, Mr. Morgan? For years. He was the best man I knew. But... He's been unraveling for some time now, and... I ain't sure there's any going back at this point. So why do you stay? I'd have been dead by 16 if it weren't for him. He never gave up on me. It ain't some... Sorry, uh, hold up a moment. That'll have to wait. Some of the plants I need will be growing down here. This is what I was looking for. English mace. Okay. Let's continue on. Now, I was saying something. Oh, yeah. It ain't something that's easy to walk away from. And... He's got all my money. It sounds like you have a lot to work out in your own mind. Dutch has got this crazy plan that... If we create enough noise and chaos, we'll be able to escape. Go somewhere far away where no one'll find us. Eagle flies got cut up in there. Now he's in jail. Sadly, Eagle Flies was ready to fight. Now, I'm sure Charles will find a way to help him, but I wanted you to know the situation. Okay. Let me give this some more thought. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. You got no reason to thank me. You know, I had a son once, years ago. Don't talk about him much. Oh, what was his name? Isaac. His mother, Eliza. It was a waitress I met. When she got pregnant, she knew who I was. Wait, stop here. I want to pick some ginseng. We can talk more about this later. This will combine well. Wait there. I'll put these in your saddlebag. Mix these together. It tastes awful, but it'll help to keep your strength up. All right, let's go. It's not much further now. So you were saying... When she got pregnant, she knew who I was, what my life was. I didn't want to promise nothing I couldn't keep, but I said I'd do right by them. Every few months, I'd stop by there for a few days. He was such a good kid. She was too, I guess. <laughs> Just a kid, 19. What happened? I got there one day and... Saw two crosses outside and I knew right away. Turned out some bastards had come through. Robbed them, shot them dead. And offered $10. It hardened me. 
Feeling that kind of pain, I guess. I had to... I don't know. I ain't been a good man. At least you understand something of your anger. I understand that you can't be a bad man and expect good things to happen to you. I appreciate the herbs, but I think it's gonna take more than that. I saw a doctor and he says I'm in a pretty bad way. I'm sorry to hear that. It's all right, I'll work something out. If I get enough money together, I can always head out west to one of those sanatoriums in California. I still got some options. Well, I wish you all the best. It's just up ahead. What's happened? No! It can't be! No! They destroyed everything! No, I need to find the Chinupa. Who... Who would do this? Someone who wanted to enrage you. Help me look around, please. The Chinupa is gone. Of course. What is it? A uh, ceremonial pipe. There must be some clues to what happened here. Who would do such a thing? There's some whiskey here. some drinking please come look at this whiskey <laughs> bastards are having a party up here an empty bottle of whiskey well if they drank all that they couldn't have gotten too far yeah well uh, still no sign of the chinupa Oh, there they are. These brave men. Some of Colonel Favor's men. They must have been the ones who did this. Are you surprised this happened? Not at all. But... But I hope we were past this. Well, you got land they want. Land with oil. They moved us here. They've taken everything we had. I signed three treaties myself, and they've broken each one. Now they've taken the last hope. 
Now my people are going to want a war. A war they can't win. Not if I get it back. Get it back? Yeah, I'm gonna go in, get your chin up, and no one will be any the wiser. Would you do that? Well, you can't go. They know why you'd come. I, uh... Don't have any money. Nah, I don't need your money. Let's see if they have our sacred items. But try not to hurt anyone. is near is near France well it's in France Indians is from here where are you from me I'm Polish from Milwaukee hmm. we got an intruder
Please tell me you found it. Here. I, uh, I got your things, I, I think. Yes. Thank you. I'm very sorry about this. Even sacred things are only things. People, the heart, matter more. Was anyone hurt? Yes. It's a bad business. I should not have let you do this for me. But perhaps it will stop a bigger massacre. With these, maybe I can calm my people. Maybe I can calm my son. I hope so. Thank you. Take those herbs I gave you, please. And most of all, I hope you can find peace within yourself. He's a man who, not so long ago, I would have found weak and pathetic. Now I see as wise and thoughtful and sensible. I would love to help him, or at least stop Dutch pushing his son to do something real stupid. <laughs> 